So I'm heading back down here. I was supposed to come down here yesterday, but I turned back around. But, because we need to talk about some shit. We need to talk about life. But, <laughs> y'all see how much higher their water is <laughs> from the last time? I'm not comfortable. Babe, how the fuck I'm supposed to get down there and get back up? Because if this shit start splurting out again, that ain't going to be good. I kind of want to walk this way. I got on a white too. Y'all going to see the fit. But damn. I got to talk to y'all though. Y'all, I don't want to be too close to that water because it's kind of high. But I had to come talk about life. Because I feel like when stuff just be still coming in my ass, it just be trying to propel me for to do the things that I have to do more. Because it's like we could go on the job and work and be putting in all our time and energy there. But it's like imagine if you're doing it with your own crap. But... I've been going through some shit because at my last job, I got fired. So it's been kind of a struggle trying to find a job in this new city that I moved to, thinking I was going to be able for to find more opportunity here. But I haven't been able for to find that at all. Then I ain't many people to walk back because <laughs> they keep looking at me. So we gonna get to that too, because like I said, I was supposed to make this video yesterday, but I stopped myself because I'm like, oh, I don't want people looking at me if they come by, because I ain't really been able to find no secluded spot I feel like here. But we just gotta do what we gotta do, because it's funny that later on, yesterday, I ain't made the content I was supposed to make. But then later on, I went walking at the park, and it was on the one other person there. And she was actually making content in the park. And I could tell she she was there by herself at first. I could tell that she didn't want nobody around neither, because I'm the same way. But I understand. But yeah, it got to the point where I'm like, damn, I know Waffle House to hire me. So I applied to that, and I worked at that on Easter Missed out on church and went there on Easter for some hours. Then for them to tell me that I have to go back on the 15th and the 16th for orientation. I messed up and I was supposed to wear all black and the outfit I wore. It might have had some stripes and stuff in it, but it still was like black. But <laughs> that kind of messed me up to where I had to go back a week later, which was yesterday. And supposed to be today too. But I was supposed to go back yesterday and it didn't work out because before I even get through the door, you're pulling me to the side. You just told me for to come back. Not to mention last week I went home and changed immediately into all black and still got sent home. And then it's like you're telling me again. you telling me that you talked to the other manager the day before and now all of a sudden you can't train me. And it's just been a lot more than that that I've been going through. But I'm not going to let it get me down. And I just feel like, like I said, I just need to be working on the things that I need to be doing. So, which is making content and talking to y'all and telling y'all about life and y'all telling me about y'all life. Because I feel like everything ain't all good with everybody. So sometimes when you hear what somebody else is going through, it kind of helps, you know. I don't know why my screen didn't got so dark. Maybe it looked like that because it's just the sun. It's so bright. But it's, some, it's a lot of shit coming in a pipeline that I'm ready for y'all motherfuckers to see. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. But I'm just feeling like you need to stop putting your dreams on hold. Because let me just give you an example of something so simple. I've had this piano for years. It's a keyboard. And it's like, I can only just play like a little tune on it. And that's pretty much it. 
you know, I, I pretty much self-teach myself everything. But it's like I picked it back up and I started back just with a little tune. And I'm telling myself I'm going to play every day. <laughs> and I haven't because I've already stopped again. I did for probably like a week or two. Now I'm putting it back down. And it's like the little tunes that I just learned, I already kind of forgot them because I'm not consistent with it. And then it's like I've already, like I said, had it for years. So it's like I'm still in the beginning stages. And then it's like just imagine if I would have been working on it every day. Like I would be way further than what I am. Like I don't have to feel like I got to start from the beginning with everything because I would have been working on it. Like it's important for us for the learn some skills, like learn some skills, like skills that can make you money, skills that that can take you somewhere up in life, skills that you can teach somebody because it seems like you can flip a lot of shit into money nowadays. I'm trying to figure out what's my way, but <laughs> <laughs> like real talk though. But like I say. I've unlearned little tunes, but I couldn't even finish the little tune that I did learn because I've already just stopped. So it's like I'm already, I'm in this constant cycle of starting over. Came up with two Ds that it takes. It takes discipline and it takes dedication. And at the end of the day, something that I've realized, like I've been saying in this video, I didn't do what I had to do yesterday because I'm like, it was just a day I felt like I don't want nobody looking at me like that. It's like sometimes you get past that feeling. That sometimes you do creep back into that feeling. But it's like if you don't go on do what you have to do, you're going to still be stuck. you still going to be feeling like I'm not there yet because you still waiting. Like, you got to go and do what you got to do. You can't worry about what other people think because if you don't go and put your content out there and put yourself out there, how you going to get known? How you going to get discovered? You got to take chances. You got to take risks despite what people think because how you going to, like, it don't matter what nobody think. Like, if you feel like you got a talent or a gift, you should. Try to make money off that because it's always more lucrative when you're doing something that you love. Because like I said, I'm finding myself trying to do this, trying to do that for money. But it's like if I just find something that I loved and put more time and energy into that, then I wouldn't have to be stressing out or feeling like, damn, I got to go to this job because I know they hiring. And then come to find out I'm still having a hard ass time. Anyways, let's get into the fitted. And this is also something that I've been working on. But we're going to get into that more later. And that's the thing of week too. I don't like to showcase stuff like that till it's completely done. And it take a while when you do everything yourself. But we getting there. Maybe I'll show y'all a little something. <laughs> But get into the fitted, y'all. I stand out a lot here, especially up in the area that I stay in. Because usually when I try to, when I get up in the morning nowadays, and it's been like this for a while now, I put that shit on. I don't give a fuck. Like, <clears throat> dressing better just makes you feel better. And it's like, I feel like I did used to try to condense myself for the, you know, fit in. I don't want to stand out too bad because, of course, when you dress up, you stand out even more. But it's like, that's just my vibe. That's just who I am now. I want to be dressed up. I want to be cute. Maybe y'all need to get on my level. Maybe y'all need to get on my level, you know? Like I say, at the end of the day, stop conforming yourself to, you know, meet society's standards because you're not going to get nowhere if you're doing what everybody else is doing. You're not going to get nowhere if you don't take chances because at the end of the day, 
all you got is you. And then it's like, imagine if you create a success story for yourself. People gonna look at that. They might not see it in the beginning, but it's like, you gotta hold on to that vision, period. I was even going through these thoughts, like people don't really, I don't, I don't feel like people really fuck with me like that. Then it's like dudes will be trying to holler at you and shit, but they don't really wanna. I don't really, too much me dudes that really be like, I want you to be my girlfriend, like really. Like you might hear that sometimes, but they don't really just act like it, you know. It's just, it's like I'm just, I'm just, I'm not even trying to worry about, not even put my focus on a relationship and then like no more. I'm just trying to do what I gotta do. Cause I'm pretty sure once we propelling, all of them be coming out the woodworks. But it's, it's really fake love. I'm just waiting for the right person to be sun towards me. But that's pretty much all I had to say. I was hoping we was gonna get a little levy action today. <laughs> It ain't nothing happening. It started bubbling a little bit, but maybe if I stay down here longer, but mm, I pretty much said what I had to say. I kind of want to see what this view going to look like when I turn around. It is the green hill that I would have walked up and down. Because, you know, we stay on our door to explore. Don't matter what we got on. But, y'all, the water is high compared to last time. I still got to show y'all this vlog. Like, okay, I be doing everything. Oh, I be doing everything. <laughs> and shit takes time. Shit takes time. Editing takes time. And I might put that down for some other project. And then the video don't ever get edited and posted. I might have started the process, but it don't get done. But I'm going to try to get that out to y'all ASAP. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably be including some other stuff in this day, but that's pretty much the message of today. So, yeah. I'm going to show y'all me walking up and down the seat again. Let me go and get from in front of this restaurant so they don't tell my shit. Yeah, I'm gonna unplug my, I unplugged my mic. <laughs> well, it fell out because I be carrying a lot of equipment when I be walking. And I ain't got no duffel bag or nothing. But I'm going back up this hill. This will really be cute for some pictures or something one day. Not today, though. <laughs> Ooh, I get the hell on. Let us see my car when I get up this hill. <laughs> Doesn't the battery really bother me? So it ain't too much more to show y'all. I don't want this to be too much longer, but thank y'all for listening for real. And I just did some hula hooping later on. And I didn't do too well today. Some days I do good, some days I don't. I don't know why, but the clip I did really good got cut off because my phone was finna die. And this is a hand painted clipboard that I've been working on. This is a clipboard that I've been working on with kind of vinyl like material. But we're gonna get more into that later. But this is a sneak peek for y'all that's been watching. So. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you.